Hi everybody, we interrupt your regularly scheduled video at the start of the video to let you know that I found that the following feature doesn't seem to work on Linux. I tested the voice isolation on Linux and on Windows and Mac editions of DaVinci Resolve 18.1 and I found that the Mac and Windows version worked fine. The examples you will hear are working because I did create them on the Windows version. Thank you. Please enjoy our feature presentation. Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today. I wanted to talk to you about something that almost everybody, okay, maybe not everybody, but different people have talked about on YouTube already, and that's DaVinci Resolve's brand new feature they released just several days ago now, and that is the voice isolation feature. This is my little test of it. Now, I have actually done some of my own internal testing that is published here, but uh, this is my first public testing, and I'm going to give you a little bit of my thoughts on it. So, if we listen, i got a heater running right now. So I just pointed the mic at the heater. You may or may not have been able to hear that pretty clearly, depending on what you're listening on, etc. Right now, there is no noise reduction slash voice isolation on. I've got a mic recording on the camera and this High Altier 40 mic that's recording me. So we can switch between them and see if it helps. Because I have a suspicion mic placement is very important here and it will help us a lot. I have now switched to the microphone on the camera so you can hear what the room sounds like. You probably can hear the heater better now. And so let's try turning on some voice isolation. Three, two, one, and there we are. Action, we have voice isolation on. Does it sound any better on the microphone on the camera? We're still using that, we just have voice isolation on now. Now that I've snapped my fingers again, we are listening to the Help Your 40 with voice isolation. Does it sound any better now? And now we are listening to raw audio again from the high pr 40 at least in the sense when i say raw i should clarify there's still compression on this and such but i'm not going to add any eq to this video like i normally do for the audio we are going to add compressing and limiting to get our levels in spec for where i deliver to youtube trying to give consistent levels but that's it the only effect that's going to be changing otherwise will be the voice isolation on or off right now like i said it is off so Tell me what you think in the comments, everybody. Do you think this is pretty good? I think that if you turn it down a little bit, just like most of the noise reduction I played with before, it starts to sound pretty good. You gotta be careful with noise reduction in my experience. Granted, it's a limited experience, but I find that if you turn noise reduction up all the way, be it this software that I've already experimented with a little bit, the voice isolation feature in DaVinci Resolve, or noise reduction, and DaVinci Resolve and other programs too. If you actually turn it up too much, I find that it eats into the voice and makes it sound really weird. So I would say at least turn it down like at least to the 90s, maybe 91, 92, maybe even the 80s to taste. Another thing to think about too with my advice is this. If you listen to a room, there's pretty much always a little bit of noise in it. And so if I'm having a conversation with you or you're watching a video and there's just nothing but our voice, it's kind of eerie, isn't it? So it might actually be good to intentionally leave in some of that sound, just lightly, very quiet, not annoying, but just so you know, they're, you know they're in an actual place. Another thing to think about too, I guess with that, come to think of it is, I guess for a horror movie or something, you might actually want to really drain out all those sounds and this, that isolation could scare people, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, you can turn this on in DaVinci Resolve if you'd like. Uh, you can do it in the Fairlight tab, the Cut tab, and the Edit tab, as I'm sure others have already explained. In the Fairlight tab, the tab I usually do all my audio mixing in, uh, you can go under there and you can enable it. I like to do it at the track level, uh, my sound mixing. So you can go under and the menus and enable track effects. When you do that, as you can see here on the screen, you'll get some new options down here on each of your tracks in your mixer. Then you can go ahead and enable your voice isolation right there. And it's that simple. Tweak to taste to try to make it sound good to your ears. And that's all. Hope everybody enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching and goodbye everybody. And action.